Good morning, air signs. I hope you are all well. I am here to channel all star sign predictions, psychic insight, guidance, whatever comes out for each and every air sign. So, um, yeah, if you haven't already, please make sure you do subscribe, like, and share, and do all that positive juju because that's the energy that I'm reading for. All right, so first we're going to kick off with the wonderful Gemini. Spirit, can we have something for Gemini, please? Something for Gemini. Oh, 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 they all wanted to jump out. Um, Gemini, it's a really, really important time for you to ground yourself right now. Um, you've obviously been going through a lot of shifts and a lot of changes and um, I, they, they, they keep saying connect with Mother Gaia. So I, there's a strong message for you at the moment, if, especially if you find that you're in your head a little bit too much to get out in nature. Um, yeah, because I, I still see you, you got the walk away card. So I still see you trying to sift and sort and walk away things that maybe are unhealthy for you, that no longer serve your purpose. But I feel like you've gone through a massive spiritual growth here, a massive ascension. It probably started a few months ago for you, but Spirit just wants you to know that you can help this process by connecting with nature, tap into some beautiful little shamanic ways, um, or maybe incorporate a new way of doing something or applying something to your life. But we'll get some tarot and we'll see what they say. Yeah, because you have an offer coming in. You have a very, very positive co-creative process coming in. It's been a long time coming. So if you're a Gemini and you're thinking that nothing's working out for you right now and everything you're putting out there is not coming back to you and all that sort of jazz, it's ha all happening for a reason right now. So reiterate, go out and ground yourself. Take some time out. Try to get out of your head a little bit because um, you are in a lesson learning stage. Because of all the lessons that you've learned, you've actually got something really good coming in for you. And this is an offer. And it's a very, very early offer. This can be a job offer. This can be a love offer. It depends on what you're calling out for, uh, for yourself. I do see more emotionally peaceful times coming in for you. But I feel like if you've been launching one specific rocket of a desire out to the universe, you may be saying, I want that relationship or I want that new job or I want the house in the Caribbean or whatever it is you're asking for, I've got a feeling that that's what this energy is attached to, but you can't speed this process up. You can't make it go any faster than it's meant to. Everything's happening in divine orchestration anyway right now, but if you do want to soothe yourself on a physical, mental, spiritual, holistic self, um, they're asking you to get out and get in touch with mother nature, go for a bit of a hike or a bit of a bushwalk or, or something of that nature. So yeah, um, expect good things, Gemini. All right, now we have our Libra. All right, Spirit, something for Libra, please. Something for Libra. I don't know whether you're up in your head about something, Libra. Up in your head about something. Yeah, if you've got any financial concerns at the moment or you're feeling the pinch when it comes to resources, Spirit wants you to know that um, there is, I'll get the tail on this one, but there is something coming in that's going to, uh, you're going to be able to get your debts paid off, let's just say that. I'm feeling more so from around December for you with this energy, so if it's, it's a mindset thing, so if you're not up in your head about it, you're message is to maybe shift your um, mindset about money. And this this energy comes to me a lot when people are really, that I've got to work, work 700 hours a week and you know, I'm not getting enough and there's still not enough and it's still not enough. I feel like there's a real lack type energy happening here. But um, Spirit wants you to know that you are going to receive the resources you need to help you get these debts paid off. I just need to let you know right now, Libra, where we currently are, that it's going to be from probably around December onwards that you start feeling uh, a more positive shift when it comes to any sort of finances. If it's got nothing to do with finances and it's got more to do with emotions and love and all that sort of stuff, um, Spirit wants you to remind Spirit want to remind you that you teach others how to treat you. So if you are go, still cleaning up karmic cycles when it comes to your intimate connections, it's really important that you do look after yourself, 
and really watch the people that you're manifesting into your experience because they're all your greatest teachers. And yeah, so yeah, I think there's going to have to be some sifting and sorting when it comes to your connections here as well. But if it's financial, your debts are going to be paid off and you can expect that around December. And um, when it comes to connections and whatnot, people are showing you, you know, they're teaching you how to treat them and vice versa. So I'd pay attention to that right now so you can end this karmic cycle when it comes to your relationship sector. Yes, definitely. Look, you're in your head. See what I mean? Like, here's this beautiful opportunity, the sun. This is a whole brand new chapter that is possible for you right now. It is closer than you think, especially over the next probably four to six weeks for you, Libra. So you're either focusing on this, which is your desires, your hope, the fact that you can be, do, have, your, and not getting in your head too much about it. You do have to speak your truth. If people aren't speaking their truth to you, it goes back to that we teach others how to treat us. This can go in the workplace as well. You know, sometimes we try to be the nice one all the time and the boss just walks over us or something or whatever, but it's time to step up into your power just a little bit. But please know that whatever you're creating for yourself, whatever your empire is looking like for you, you're still on the right track, you're still on the right path, but just try not to let money or other people get in the way of where you're going right now. That's the main message. So I hope that helped you, Libra. Now we've got Aquarius. Aquarius, let's go, let's go Aquarius. Since I tapped in your energy Aquarius, I felt like I wanted to get into a, one of those pools. I don't know whether you had them when you were younger, but we had these little, little round pools and as you make a big whirlpool when everyone just goes in the same direction. So um, that, that could be a sign that you are actually, if you're not getting a really nice momentum going, then you may start collaborating with others who are going in the same direction of you and it's gonna call, cause this wonderful vortex of wonderfulness here. Ooh, take that one. Yeah, so we got a holiday that jumped out and that literally wanted to jump out. So maybe some of you are going on a holiday. Maybe there are some resources coming in so you can take a holiday because as soon as I tap into that energy, I feel like I'm going, I'm going or I'm planning. So even if you don't have the finances, even if you don't have any intention, sometimes just living life like it is one big holiday, that can really benefit this whirlpool, this vortex experience. There is some level of forgiveness that's needed here. Spirit wants you to know that everything's actually okay. So if you are experiencing the discord, like many others are at the moment, you are being encouraged to know that everything is okay, but there is some still some some level of forgiveness that's required in any area of your life so this can be towards yourself towards others you know they just told me something about financial matters if you if you've made a poor financial decision and I'm, this is going to fit everybody but if that's your reality um, they're saying just forgive yourself just forgive yourself maybe you invested poorly but you had to have that lesson and um, the byproduct of that when you do find that forgiveness for anything in your life is the fact that you will get ease you will get get things a lot more easier and it's going to either feel like a holiday or you'll actually go on a holiday so we'll see what the tarot says for you Aquarius yeah see don't judge yourself don't judge yourself don't judge others um you you lose you drop judgment when you start forgiving yourself and others because it's really playing I think it's something's really playing havoc in your life right now you you in some way maybe resisting your ascension assisting um resisting it's kind of like the energy for me of people who fear success it's like they want success they know they're going to be successful they know they're going to manifest everything that they desire but once i get it what the hell do i do with it it's that kind of energy they're saying you know you can don't chase your tail and don't go around and around in circles it's time to release a little bit go with the flow and drop down into the the vortex the whirlpool so you can start having everything that you desire here so the last leg of your tour may be just that that forgiveness that's that's required. So anyway, I hope that helped you guys. Please check out all your other placements and I'll see you again soon. Bye.